The comment I hear all the time is this is so relaxing, it's therapeutic. What better way for artist Christine Gibson to create a mural representing the community than asking the community for help? She won a mural contest last April that was hosted by Rochester College. The school wants to cover a wall of their old gym that faces a high traffic area along the Clinton River Trail. Just a plain block building and we decided a way to make that look better would be to put a mural on it. Christine invited the public to help. She had volunteers from Tom toddlers to senior citizens. Groups of special needs students like the ones from Rising Star Academy are also helping paint. It's nice to try something a little bit out of our element and they're so detailed at every little thing and they're doing such a fantastic job. The best part about this whole project really has been um, not necessarily the painting of it, but just the community that it has promoted. The mural is being painted on 72 5 by 5 panels that will be placed on the building wallpaper style. Christine, who is a children's book illustrator, recruited her daughter to help. It's been a really fun project from start to finish and the final phase is to actually put it up on the wall. And that phase is set to begin May of this year. In Rochester Hills, Simon Chowdhury for the Now Detroit. How neat. Can't wait to see the finished product. We'll go back and check in. Well, still ahead on the Now Detroit, the great